Hello, welcome to Borderline Obsessed Travels, where I'm trying to get to every U.S. state high point, tri point, county, and national park, because I want to impress you. Are you impressed? Today we're going to be going to three lesser known national parks. Hope you enjoy. I'm at Great Basin National Park right now, outside Baker, Nevada. I think this is one of the least visited national parks in the U.S. There's a few, like, noteworthy things going on here. One of them is Wheeler Peak, not the same Wheeler Peak as New Mexico, but it is a 13er, the highest point in the park, one of the highest points in Nevada. It's also bristlecone pine groves, um, and bristlecone pine trees, like an individual tree, can live to be 5,000 years old. That's cool. I haven't seen any of those. I'm not gonna, sorry. They also have a cool cave system. I just did a tour of that. And one of the last things here is it's good for stargazing because we're pretty far out from any like sizable towns. I think like the nearest sizable town is like a hundred miles away in any direction. So I didn't get any good footage of it, but they do have like astronomy things um, several nights a week. So I went to one of those last night and it was, it was neat. You got to see like the Milky Way without using a telescope. It was just like there. Over a hundred years ago, the man who owned this land opened Lehman Caves to the public. For a dollar, you could walk around and you could take whatever you wanted from the cave. So there are a lot of broken stalactites in this cave, which on one hand is unfortunate, but on the other hand, it gives you a good visual idea of how long it takes stalactites to grow. Because you can see these new tiny growths of the stalactites from where they were broken over a hundred years ago and see, wow, it takes over a hundred years to grow less than a quarter of an inch. I just got to Capitol Reef National Park outside Torrey, Utah. The landscape here is very dramatic. There are no reefs here. Apparently it was called a reef because like the initial pioneers in this area encountered this very tall rock wall that was like 70 miles long that they could not go over. They had to go around it. And the only comparison they really had was like, if you're in a boat and you encounter a reef, you can't go like through it. You gotta go around it. So that's the reason it's called a reef. There's a ranger talk going on tonight and then another one of those like watch the stars through a telescope thing so I think I'm gonna try to go to both of those and probably not get footage at either of them. Capitol Reef is surrounded by plenty of BLM land where you can camp for free. Um, I prefer when it feels kind of like you're at a campsite and there are people around. I know most people don't prefer that, but you do get that here. There are people around, so I really liked it. Pictures and videos do not do this place justice. There's an orchard where you can pick and eat fruit for free. Okay, so I think it costs money if you take it out of the orchard, but if you just eat it in the orchard, it's free. So the apples are kind of wormy, because um, I guess they use like historic methods of keeping bugs away and not just like pesticides, but they are so delicious. They use ditches to irrigate all the trees. Um, so I keep falling into ditches. 
I haven't found a ripe pear yet. This is this is the ripest one I've found so far. So the word reef came from the rock wall that was pretty much impassable, like a reef would be. And the word capital came from this rock structure that's white and domed kind of like the U.S. Capitol building. I'm at Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park outside Montrose, Colorado. It's a canyon that's blackish in color that is around the Gunnison River, so that's where the name comes from. I'm on the South Rim. There is a North Rim kind of like the Grand Canyon. The South Rim is the populated part. The North Rim is kind of in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want, don't if you don't, and I will see you soon. Bye.